हे गाइस माय नेम इज अर्नब दिस इज टेक्नोविशन एंड यू आर वाचिंग सी एम थर्टीन रिव्यू ओवर जुक जेड वन सो व्हाट आई एम वेटिंग फॉर इट गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट आई लाइक अबाउट सैनज एंड माउंट एंड वॉट आई डोंट एंड वॉट इज द की फीचर सो स्टार्टेड सो एट फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस फोन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव गॉट दी मार्श मेलो वर्सन ओवर दी टॉक आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दी अबाउट फोन वर्सन एंड दैट विल बी शोइंग मार्श मेलो बिकॉज सैनज एन मोट थर्टीन इज रानिंग ऑन एंड्रॉड सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड दिस इज सैनज एन मोट थर्टीन स्नैपशॉट वर्सन आई डाउनलोडेड इट फ्रॉम सैनज एन मोट ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट सो यू कैन चेक इट आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट आई विल पुट अ लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग The next thing I really like about this ROM is its customizability. However, you got Samsung always up on the top of your Zook Z1 as a stock ROM, but uh, on the mod you have got more functionalities. You have got more option on themes and uh, lots more option like you have got a rooted phone. You don't have to root uh, via any software or anything else. You just have to uh, go to the developer settings and enable it. And here you can see the do taxis option i have already enabled it to apps only but uh, there are many other options over here so you get this when you are installing the cyanogen mod version not this is not available on cyanogen os so that's a really good thing i like about this another cool thing i like about this phone is its uh, fingerprint scanner come button so it's uh, blazing fast and as you can see so whenever you are using the stock cyanogen os you have to just uh, press this button little bit to get access but with cyanogen os you don't have to press it either you just have to lock and then place your finger on the button and that's it you don't have to press it anymore just uh, before but uh, this time here it is uh, not as stable as you can see but uh, it really works just lock it press your finger and it opens lock it press your finger and it open you don't have to press it anymore and it can be used on this from the standby mode so just place your finger and it's open so sometime it works sometime not it is a issue on this hydrogen os hydrogen mod os because it's not the stable version or stable release so you can see sometime i have to i have to press this button to get work and sometime as usual you have is this done this work so it's a little bit frustrating but uh, it is a cool feature to have to have and this shows the possibilities in future to have the fingerprint access without pressing this button so uh, a thumbs up from us uh, with this feature it is very useful today yes sometime it did some works that uh, it don't should be like uh, this time around uh, the touch is not working on anything else so the buttons are working but the touch is not working however this display panel is fully okay so i am just going to reboot it and uh, going to hold the power button for a few moment and uh, this would take uh, the phone reboot and therefore it will be okay on the next boost so something i don't like about uh, this uh, cyanogen mod is this it happens very very rare but yeah another bad thing is sometimes some application may not want to work like uh, example i am going to show you photos here the photo opens and you can show unfortunately the photos has been stopped and it's uh, happen every time i want to open photos here is the fingerprint lock i have locked it via app lock and this time it works but last time it don't so i can't really understand what's wrong with this phone but uh, yes that is happening Let's talk about another important feature, which is uh, not very rare today, but uh, it is available on the Samsung Mod, not on Samsung OS. So it's multi window, obviously. So if you want to get access to the multi window, you just have to press this little icon over here. So this will show you whether you want to get this app on upper row or down row. In my case, I chose the down row, and as you can see, it it has got the lower screen and the upper screen i can uh, see the google now but if i want any one other to get this place i could do that too so here i i would choose the um, google um, google chrome and i would choose on it's on the upper side and that's it here up on the google chrome and 
here is the browser tab so it's not i can say the perfect one but uh, it works very well and another uh, downgraded um, down thing is the when you are you want to uh, use the multi window tab you don't you can't access the third party fingerprint scanner so if i want to have the two browser and settings at the same time but, and uh, i can get because they don't have any third party fingerprint access but if i want to get that with the photos and then the third party app wants me to unlock it from using my fingerprint and if i do this you will see no multi tab here is a single tab available here so that's not really cool when coming to multitasking but if i off this app um, called app lock which uh, i have got from play store and uh, manage my fingerprint app locks so then this uh, case will be solved so that's a good thing that uh, this one have multi window and though they that have not perfect have some pros and cons but when android games comes this will easily be fixed so that's all about it this video so i have highlighted all the areas this phone shines and some pros also because this is not a stable rom this is a custom rom so anyway i think if you like my video i will be placed and if you subscribe love to know that and as well as make sure to comment so see you guys on the next one thank you for watching this cm13 review over the zoom z1